Hi, everybody. This is Marilyn. Do we have any audio today? I hope. Maybe. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Hi, everyone. This is Marilyn, and it's uh, noon. Today, it's time for the noon edition of Welcome to My World. It is the 15th of March, which is a Tuesday. And we've had lots and lots of news this morning. Um, the This has been kind of an interesting um, morning because the indices, typically what you like to see is uh, U.S. indices all moving right along in unison, and they all seem to be playing very well together, but today that's not been the case. Uh, TF has been um, drifting downwards, and YM has said, no, I don't want to go that way. I'm going to go the other way. So sometimes these bus drivers don't get it all together uh, like they normally do. But um, I noticed the ES, which is straight up futures, I do not like to trade, but I know it can be very good on um, the Nadex, and we do have a lot of Nadex traders in here. It has been um, both up and down equally this morning, just 30 minutes up and 30 minutes down and 30 minutes up and 30 minutes down. Those are really hard to trade in um, in futures, but they can be scalped. I just don't particularly, I mean, personally, I don't like that market. And the reason I don't like it for for a small trader is because it is the most heavily traded uh, instrument in the world. And I'm just a little person. You know, I've got my little one and twosies and uh, contracts, and some of these guys are trading uh 150 and 200 contracts. So guess who gets their orders filled and who doesn't? Um, so it's that's a pretty easy choice for me. There are other ways to utilize that, but trading them in futures isn't my cup of tea. We have had the uh, bonds, interestingly enough, have gone up, and then they started a down move uh, this morning about 9 o'clock, and there have been a couple of really nice 10-tick trades uh, off of uh, the ZB. The dollar and the euro are trading right along together with each other. They they trade in uh, opposite mode, but they certainly are. It's real easy to see the correlation with those two today. And um, Gold, for some reason, for it being in such a, a relatively tight range, it has trended very well in, a, in enough to get, I like to trade gold for 20 ticks, and it, uh, it, I, I like to use the C's system on gold with an alchemy confirm, and um, there have been some very tradable moves this morning, which is kind of surprising because sometimes it moves very fast and it uh, gold can have a little bit of a mind of its own. So our friend crude oil this morning, um, we haven't had a heck of a lot of volume and uh, right now there's just under 300,000 contracts trading. Gold, I mean uh, crude oil is in the process of, there's a lot of things happening to it right now. We have all the talking heads talking about, you know, what crude oil is going to do and blah, blah, blah. That's really what a whole lot of it is. But um, crude oil is in the process of moving contracts, rolling contracts, out of the April contract into the um, into the May. So I think we've got about another, by Friday, this contract will have expired. 
So what we want to do is follow the money. We want to be where the most money is. But it seems to be trending down, which the the current contract in crude oil will tend to do right at roll time because the people that are holding contracts and trade big con the, the big boys basically they begin selling out their positions in this month and buying positions in the next month so right now we have the next month's contract is trading uh, pretty close to two dollars above this one I don't like to roll on Wednesdays because of the inventory of uh, just all kinds of things happening but I'll take a look at this this afternoon uh, and real early in the morning and kind of see uh, where the most volume is and I I'll put a, a note up on the chart if and when I I mean I will roll this I just the the biggie for me is when can I do that with the least amount of um, I don't know uh, I want I want the sane bus driver I want the I want the contract with the best bus driver is basically what I want so tomorrow tomorrow is going to be a really big deal and a really big day because we've got uh, a bunch of economic numbers both Canadian and US tomorrow morning at 8:30 at 9:15 at 10:30 we have oil inventory the crude oil inventory report will be released and at 2 o'clock tomorrow the FOMAC is going to make their economic projections they're going to issue a statement and they will have the Fed funds rate uh, posted tomorrow so tomorrow morning uh, generally I I would anticipate that between the news and this FOMAC uh, a lot of people will be standing aside to see what they're going to do and see what they're going to say so just uh, be be very careful tomorrow about your trades take only trades tomorrow morning that you are absolutely sure of only the best of the best of the best and really closely watch your indicators because the the apex indicators will tell you exactly what to do but don't get in a hurry and don't push a trade tomorrow because there will be a lot of volatility and the expectation is that they likely will not uh, raise the rates or do anything crazy right now but it has the effect of uh, they just kind of talk and talk and they stir the pot and it gets everything kind of all mixed up for a little while so um, I think that's about it we have the VIX uh, it started to come down and now it's um, right now it's about 17 and a quarter when the VIX is at 15 basically the fear has gone out of the market so to a great extent the volatility and the fear factor is not there when that thing gets up around 25 and um, I've seen it at 30 and 35 and hold there for three or four or five weeks and more um, then the bears will be in serious control of everything so that's why I keep an eye on that it's uh, mostly just a, a guideline for how much confidence is out there in the in the the real world I guess since I live in my world anyway I think that's about it uh, tomorrow is is as I say be very cautious about that and especially close to that two o'clock mark because there will be um, there will be lots of uh, 
and the talking heads. Don't forget the talking heads. Um, you're going to hear more theories and stuff and this and that and the next thing. Just stick with your charts. That's the best policy. So um, this has been my view from my world in Apex land, brought to you by Apex Investing. I'll see you tomorrow about noon. Thanks. <laughs>